Hey everyone, what's up? So, after seven years, OpenSUSE Leap has finally received its first major update. Yep, the Big Leap 16 release is here. And honestly, this one's a massive deal for Linux fans. The OpenSUSE team has been pretty quiet on uh, major releases since Leap 15 back in 2018. But this time, they've come back with something that feels really fresh and modern. All right, let's start with one of the coolest parts, the new installer. It's called Agama, and it's what they call a service-based installer. Now, what that means is you can actually access the installer remotely. Like, imagine you're installing uh, OpenSUSE on a little Raspberry Pi in your server closet. No need to drag a monitor or keyboard over there. You can just open up your browser or terminal on another computer, type in Agama's address, and boom, you're installing Leap remotely. Super convenient, right? Once you're done installing, you'll be greeted by a completely redesigned uh, welcome experience. The new app is called OpenSUSE Welcome Launcher, and unlike the old one, it can actually get updated over time. So yeah, it can now show you the latest package updates, important announcements, or even tips right inside the welcome screen. Now let's talk about what's under the hood. OpenSUSE Leap 16 ships with the Linux kernel 6.12, which is the latest long-term support kernel. And you've got some fresh desktop environments to pick from. GNOME 48, KDE Plasma 6.4, and XFCE 4.20, which by the way, has experimental valence support. And if you're into gaming or running Windows apps, you will be happy to know Wine 10.10 is also here. So better compatibility with Windows software right out of the box. Now here's some great news for NVIDIA users the OpenSUSE team has added automatic installation of NVIDIA's open source GPU drivers. So if your graphics card is supported, Leap 16 will just install the driver and even the NVIDIA repository automatically. You'll get hardware acceleration without having to do anything extra. However, not everything is sunshine and rainbows. If you're a Steam gamer, you might notice that Steam's package has been removed from Leap's non-OSS repo. Yeah, the reason is Steam still relies on a bunch of old 32-bit libraries. But don't worry, the, the developers recommend using the Flatpak version of Steam, which bundles everything you need. So even if you don't have those 32-bit libraries installed, Steam should still run perfectly fine. And just a heads up, this release now requires at least an x86-64 V2 CPU which basically means any computer made after 2008 should be fine. But if your system's older than that, OpenSUSE recommends switching to Tumbleweed for future support. Now here's a cool little trivia. Leap 15 came out seven years ago, and Leap 16 is the first big refresh since then. The next major one, probably Leap 17, isn't expected until 2032. So yeah, enjoy this update while it's fresh. And between now and then, they'll be rolling out smaller annual point releases. So you'll keep getting updates and refinements. So yeah, OpenSUSE Leap 16 is finally here with a brand new installer, refreshed desktops, NVIDIA support out of the box, and more modern foundations all around. If you want to give it a try, just head over to the official OpenSUSE website, grab the Leap 16 ISO, and you can either install it directly or test it in a virtual machine. And if you're already on Leap 15.6, make sure to follow the official upgrade guide. All right, folks, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you're planning to upgrade or if you're sticking with Tumbleweed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Linux news and updates. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep exploring Linux.